hello guys so guys in this video i will talk about uh, terraform so terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code software tool that provides a consistent uh, uh, workflow to manage cloud services so basically what you can do with the help of this terraform is you can create resources over the cloud so it is not specific to any cloud provider it is it is uh, available for all azure google cloud and aws so uh, with the help of this terraform i'll show you how to create a resources right so you can easily download terraform by help by going to this terraform.io website and here in the docs you will get the information how to download on your local machine right so let's quickly go through the code and uh, let's see very basic program how we can create resource using aws so here in the visual studio code i have created a file the file is main.tf so this is the file which i have created i'll go through the detail of the file so so basically this is a file in which we can write our code so uh, for example you want to create any resources right so there are multiple ways you can do you can use aws cli to create your resources you can directly go into the console of this aws and create your resources but you know if, if you are working in a very big project and you want a consistent environment for each and every time then terraform will come into picture because it guarantees that whatever the code you will written it will create accordingly right so it guarantees you to create a consistent infrastructure every time so for terraform what you need to do you just need a file whatever the name of the file is yeah here i have this main.tf file so tf is the extension over here and inside this file you can write whatever you want to create okay so what i'll create right now is i will create a dynamo db table in aws okay so here this is the first you know block you can see see over here so this is the block block of terraform here you need to specify the provider right so the provider i'm using is aws and this is a source so basically what it does it will get the plugin from hashicorp aws and download it on your local machine so i'll show you how it will work and you have to specify the version right so you have to make it consistent with that version and uh, so this is the block just to download the plugin of terraform on your local machine after that you need to specify the provider the provider is aws and the deep pro profile you have to specify right so uh, you may have a different profile on your machine so if you want to see the profile you just need to go into the dot aws folder inside the aws folder you will get a credential file over there you can see the profile so whatever the profile you want to use you can just mention over here and the reason of the uh, where you want to create the instance of the dynamo db right and uh, here this is in the way in which we can create a variable right so this is the variable this is a keyword over here and this is a name so it is a type of string and this is a description description is just for the you know documentation purpose it is uh, just for a documentation purpose this is a basically the main code which i'm talking about so this code is basically in this code i have to specify aws dynamo db table it is just like a data type you can say that because based on that it will figure it out okay i have to create a dynamo db table and it should be the name of the variable so this variable will will be uh, referencing over in the main.tf file or maybe in the terraform file okay so this is the data type you can say that dynamo db table and this is the variable name right so i have to specify the name so i am fetching the table name by this variable right so over here you can see that i haven't defined any value of this name so i will tell you how we can do that and some static parameter i have already mentioned for example the billing type we have this pay per request hash key is an employee id so these are the attributes which we have required at the time when we create the dynamo db table and this is the attribute and this is for the string type and in the aws dynamo db table we want to tag something so i'm tagging as test dev so this uh, this block is responsible for creating the resource and here what i'm doing is basically i'm just outputting the arn name right so whatever the aws db table over here 
and from that my first table i am just fetching the name and it will basically output me on the console okay so this is basically the simple script and here you can see i have specify a variable right so i have to give the value of this variable so where i can do i have to create another file which is tfrs tf vrs file inside the tfrs file you can specify the variable name whatever you want to for example this is a table name and you can specify the table name over here okay so this is a very basic you know terraform script i'll show you how to execute it so for executing you just need to open new terminal or maybe you can open the command prompt so the very first step you need to do is terraform init okay so the terraform init is a command so basically it will initialize the plugin as per the code right so i want that plugin so it will create after that the another command is terraform plan so terraform plan what will, uh, what it will do it will just create a plan so it will give you idea what is trying to do right so here i'm just passing the value uh, table name so i have to specify the table name table demo over here okay so why it is asking for table demo because here you can see i have specify a variable so here you can see so it is asking it is giving me a little bit idea what is trying to do it will just create a resource plus means it's just trying to add something and uh, these are the tags this is something everything whatever he wants mentioning over here okay and this is a table demo which i have specify right which i have specify in the input so this is something that uh, it will create right so uh, now the point is that we have to execute this command so for executing this command you just need a terraform in it uh, sorry the command is terraform apply right but if you want to give a name of the file you can just simply put minus where minus file equals to equals to where dot t f a r yeah so basically what you are trying to do you just apply the command and for the output variable for the sorry input variable you need to specify okay just take my input from this where dot t first file right so here i have mentioning the table name right so here you can see i have specified that and put enter so basically it will try to execute my command and it just asking for approve okay i say yes fine so here it will trying to create here you can see the name is table name which is coming from this table this where dot tfrs file right so it is taking some time maybe 30 or 40 second after that uh, so you, here you can see that it's completed resource one added output and this is the aran id which i have specify over here in the output right so this is an aran id let me quickly go through the console of this and quickly show you the record here you can see the table which i have created the table name and all the stuff whatever it's basically empty and the employee id is the attribute which i have mentioning over here in the in the script this is employee id okay so uh, you are done with that you are able to create a resource so if you want to remove this right so what you need to do you just need to another command is terraform destroy so uh, it will ask for a uh, basically the table name since my so uh, because i am as it is asking for the input and uh, now it will try to execute okay it, now it's want to whether i just want to go ahead with that i say yes okay so here you can see that uh, resources have been destroyed and if i quickly go over here and try to refresh it so uh, the resource not found something like that
right so this resource is not there if i try to refresh it you will see this resource is gone so this is all about the terraform this is a very basic video in which i have created a dynamo db table uh, going forward i will create some more video so keep watching this channel if you want you can subscribe it and uh, if you have any question concern please let me know or you can put it in in the email thank you